What's going on fishing buddies? Welcome back to the channel. Early morning Sunday and we got some chop. It has been just like beyond flat around here for about three days. Looking good out here. Sun is just coming up. Got a little bit later started than I wanted, but the spot that I wanted is open. Let's get it out there. I am gonna go with the sinker guy method on this last rig. A couple beads that match the coquina clams in the surf right now. I got a piece of clam flavored fish bites. I always make sure to strap on a sinker guy Spudnik. This is a three ounce. And I will use this magic thread to give my bait a better chance of actually staying on the hook with all the, the rough surf that's going on out there, this fresh dead shrimp will easily pull off. So I'll pop some of this magic thread on there and that'll give it a better chance of survival. There we go. Already on, I, just, I didn't even get back to the cart. He is not gonna be big, but that is a great sign. First cast, walking back to the cart and got a hit, buddy. All right, little whiting. Nice, 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 nice. That guy's definitely keeper on the frisky fins, Perdido Blaine rig. This guy's right at 12 inches. We're definitely gonna keep him and I wanna get I want to get that rod out back as quick as possible. So we're going to strap on another shrimp real quick. Got some excellent looking shrimp today. We'll get that magic thread back on it and get that rod right back. Great start to the morning, guys. Right at 12 inches. That's a nice eater right there. I'm thinking three, four more of these. That's lunch. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's another one. Come on, buddy. Oh, buddy. This one definitely feels better than last. Come on. Same rod. Get in here. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh. Big old cat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That ain't no catfish. That ain't no cat. Come on. Uh, I might be crossed. That's what's making it so feel so big. <sighs> yeah, I'm just crossed. Another catfish. Oh, Jacob. I might have something on here. I saw a little slack in the line. Oh, no, a little stingray. Weird. These guys are starting to show up. That fresh dead definitely seems to be the bait of choice for all species this morning. Another stud whiting. I thought I turned the camera on, but I didn't. <laughs> he hit the frisky fins green, uh, green float. Double floats here, bottom and drop. All right. I think we might be on here. Come on, watch out, Fred. Get away. Hey guys. How's the fish out here? It's picking up, brother. Yeah, it's another nice whiting here, guys. That makes number three. I'll call on fresh dead today. So this will be what I'm keeping. I'll keep the three for the family. We'll have a little 
whiting fish fry today for lunch. Starting to see life out here, y'all. Got some fairly dirty water today. So I've strapped on a K Pomps big game rig. This is the slider rig, four ounce frog tongue weight. This little piece of cut mullet. I'm gonna throw that out there and see if I can attract the red. So with the rod, <clears throat> I just moved down here. <clears throat> down here by my, my private sign. I'm gonna pull this one up and I'm gonna move that redfish rod down here because the current is pushing west and with that frog tog weight, it doesn't hold as well as these sinkers. So if I throw that redfish rod down here with that weight, <clears throat> that frog tongue weight, it'll push it here because of the current and it won't get tangled in my other lines. All right, guys, let's talk about how to navigate these signs. You're gonna see these all over the beach. You got another one up here. What these are doing, they're mainly set up to block beachgoers from kind of setting up camp in front of the condos. Um, which is respectable. You know, people pay a lot of money to stay in these condos. They like to have their beach right in front of the condo. Very easy access back and forth. So what these are, what these signs are for. They're not necessarily for us fishermen. By law, we can set up where the tide line is. So you see the wet sand, that is the tide line. So I can come out here and I can set my sand spikes up by law in reality and I can make a snake if I wanted and get on this wet sand and I could fish. Now what'll happen like during like peak vacation, like moving through spring into summer, these beaches are gonna be packed y'all. You don't necessarily even wanna come out here and fish because there's gonna be people in the water. There's gonna be kids in the water and it's, it's just not a good situation. But for me, I will come out here and I will set up within these boundaries early in the morning. Um, because as you can see, it's about eight o'clock now and there's no one out here. And so I will come out here if there's a nice hole out there. If I see a lot of birds blowing up and diving, it might be in front of the condo. I can't help it with the fish are. And by law, by my right in Florida, I can set up on this tide line right in front of this condo and it's perfectly legal. You will have condo workers come out here and try to run you off. But if you know your law, you can just let them know. I've never gotten to the point where, you know, the authorities needed to be called or anything like that. It's happened to me a few times. Um, <clears throat> they make their case, I make mine. You know, I again, I am never out here in front of these condos when there's a lot of beachgoers, when there's people swimming in the water. But I will come out here and set up early in the morning, basically fish and be gone before anybody even gets out here. So you guys remember that if you are in Florida and you are fishing in your legal boundaries, the tide line, so basically think of it like the wet sand. You got the wet sand, you got the dry, dry sand. As long as your sand spikes are in this wet sand, you're good to go. Don't let the Karens run you off. I am beefing up my guide service also, so that's another reason I kind of, I hang around these condos. Today, I am not in front of a condo. I got a condo to my left and some condos to my right. And this is a good little spot here. And what this does for me, for my business, is it brings the beachgoers down. They see me out here fishing. I can pass out business cards and things like that. So spring, summer, I kind of will stick to these areas. Um, probably once or twice a week, I'll get somewhere secluded, especially if the, um, there's been reports of fishing hitting in that area. But I'll stick around here just to kind of promote the business. I have beefed it up a bit. I am going to start running some overnight kayak camping trips, some catch, clean and cook in the Perdido area. And I'm going to be running some sunset kayak tours also. You guys can find all that information on the website along with the surf fishing guided trips and the kayak fishing guided trips. All right, fishing buddies, getting out of here. Not upset about that at all. Three whiting in the cooler, uh, that little stingray, some catfish. There's life out there, y'all. There's life in the water. There's birds flying and diving. There's beachgoers on the beach. Spring is here. 
February was horrible around here. About the only thing I could catch was trout and they were out of season. <laughs> so <laughs> I was stuck. Um, but great day in shorts, shoes off, toes in the sand again, guys. I am just so looking forward to this season. I have amped up my guided fishing service, both kayak and surf fishing, running those full time now. So if you're interested in that, you can find me at perditoblaine.com. All my rates are there. If you guys are enjoying the videos, please hit me a like, hit me a subscribe. Helps out the rhythm of the channel so much, guys. I am growing and I'm so thankful for all y'all that are continuing to watch, the new subscribers that have come on, the guys that are commenting. It means a lot, guys. Um, Facebook page is growing also. Instagram, I'm new to TikTok, trying to figure that thing out. <laughs> So, but I am on there. So you guys go check me out. Guys, Pompano are about to be here and it's about to get fun. <laughs>